Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm making the copycat of Outback's Al Springs Chicken. I worked there for a little bit and if I wasn't eating their Victoria's Filet or their ribs or their prime rib, I was eating their Alice, Alice Springs Chicken. So what you need first is some Dijon mustard, some mayo, some lemon juice, and some honey. All right, you're gonna get a electric mi mixer. I'm just gonna use this hand mixer. And you're gonna combine all of these condiments into a little bowl. I just had this little cup thing. And we're gonna mix them and whip it for about 30 seconds. So that's what we're gonna do first. And first you're gonna get one cup of the Dijon mustard, the grape, the gray poupon, gray poupon. <laughs> I just got the, I believe this is the Kroger brand. Is it Walmart brand, Kroger brand? I don't know, whatever. Um, you need one cup of this. So it's measured out of this. I believe I have enough. I've been using it already. I'll just use whatever I have. All right, I guess I should have bought a little more because I about have about three fourths of a cup. I'll put it upside down and see how much more I can get out of here. I'll leave that right there and see how much more falls out. Next you're going to get one cup of honey. I'm going to use this one up first and then I'll use my new one. Half a cup of mayo and a teaspoon of lemon juice. Let's see how much more of this and get out. Oh, there we go. That's a lot. I think that will be good. But I think I've um, kind of underestimated or overestimated how big this was. Underestimated. So I think I'm going to have to get a bigger bowl. One second. This may be too big, but. It's better in this cup. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna mix it for about 30 seconds. All right, so I got my four chicken breasts and I have them. Then I put them in a Ziploc bag. Now I am going to get a third of a cup and I'm going to put, well, I'm going to put a third of a cup of this marinade into the Ziploc bag of chicken. Now I'm going to turn it Work it into the chicken. Give it a little massage. Then we're gonna try to get all the air out of the bag. Seal it. Now I'm going to put this in the refrigerator and let these guys marinate for two hours. All right, after your chicken has marinated for two hours in the refrigerator, you're going to preheat your oven to, to 375. And James wants to say hi. Hi, what? No. All right, you're gonna get yourself a pan 
that is large enough to hold all four of the chicken breast. And you're going to put one tablespoon over medium heat. Over medium heat. And we're going to cook or sear these chickens three to four minutes on each side or until they're golden brown. And don't forget to discard your marinade their chicken was soaking in. So again, for the lighting, if you've been watching my other video, cooking videos, you know that my main light in my kitchen is out and it's still out. We're gonna get that fixed soon, hopefully. Yeah, hopefully. While the chicken is cooking, I'm going to be over, I'm gonna be over here sauteing the sliced mushrooms and some butter, two tablespoons of butter. Time to flip the chicken. Baby dough. I'm gonna do another minute because they're they're not very golden brown. And I'm very particular on the way my chicken looks. So I'm gonna do like one more minute. Oh yeah, these look good. I don't know why those other ones, I guess they're not exactly on the heat. Alright, now I'm going to transfer over the chicken to this dish. If your pan that you cooked your chicken in will go into the oven, then you can just keep it in there. I'm not sure if mine will or not, so I'm not going to trance it. <laughs> But, so I'm just gonna put the chicken over into this dish. Next, you're gonna get the marinade that you made for the chicken and you're just gonna pour some more over it. But you want to make sure to leave a little bit for when you eat for dipping. Next, you want to get your salt and pepper and salt and pepper your chicken. I should have probably, for me, I should have done this before it was even seared because personally, I don't like the taste of chicken if it tastes like chicken. <laughs> if you know what I mean, that poultry taste. So, hopefully this will do it. Yes. Hopefully this will take that taste away. I've made this before and I don't remember it tasting like chicken. <laughs> then you're going to get some paprika and sprinkle around also. Ooh, paprika? What's paprika? It's a seasoning. Paprika. Next you're going to get your bacon oh, and you're just going to, you can break it in half since they're smaller and make it crosswise on your chicken. This chicken, or this, this bacon I kind of cooked a little bit longer than the other one. So it's a little more, so it's a little more crunchy. It's all in preference. Next you're going to get your mushrooms that you've been sauteing and just pour them over each chicken. Next you have, you're going to get your cheddar cheese. Then you're going to get about a four for a cup in your hand. You can measure if you want and put it over the chicken. Each chicken gets about fourth of a cup of cheese. You know what? There's not that much cheese left in there. Let's just pour it all on there. Of course, you can go by the instructions if you want but we like cheese in this family. 
then you can get your Monterey Jack and do the exact same thing. I don't know where the chicken went, but there's a mounds of cheese. <laughs> now you're gonna cook this for seven to 10 minutes or until the cheese is thoroughly melted and starting to bubble. This is what it look like when it comes out. Look at all that yummy, bubbly cheese. And usually you're supposed to serve it with like parsley. I don't know if you saw my last video of Kroger haul, but I didn't have the greatest um, experience because I used Instacart and <laughs> Um, with delivery and I didn't get a lot of my stuff. I don't know if Kroger was just out a lot of stuff or I just didn't have a great person who d delivered. But anyway, they didn't give me my parsley. I didn't realize it during that video, I don't believe. I have to go back and watch the video, but I don't believe I got it. Anyway, so this is what it looks like. So I know it usually it doesn't have this much cheese on it, but you know I put extra cheese on it. But it looks delicious to me. Yeah. Looks delicious to me. Alright, here it is. We got some french fries and broccoli to go with it. And I got some extra of the sauce with it. I think it's a honey mustard sauce. Let me know down in the comments if you're going to try this or if you've tried it at Outback and you like it. And what do they do, James, if they if I they like this video? Hey, what do they do if they like this video? They give a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that bell. Hit the, I mean, give a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that bell. So now that everybody else is like, you your kind of happy. Alright. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.